survey uh, the area, whatnot. Odo Widi, let me come to you because the NADCO report uh, came to the forefront due to a couple of issues that Kenyans felt needed to be addressed. Looking at the amendment bills and that one new bill that has sailed through the NADCO sittings and is now going to Bunge, what say you about the plight of Kenyans? Because some might argue, as Kimani Shungwa said, we've covered 90%. That 10% will forward to the two principals and they'll sit down and look at how to address it. One of them being the cost of living. So did he truly address the plight of Kenyans <laughs> from where you said? You know, you know the Nadeko report was birthed by the street protests. The street protests was necessitated by the claim that the cost of living was very high and the election was stolen and so the server should be open. Those are the only two reasons why people went to the streets. These others were born later. They were argued later. But you will notice that those two reasons why we went to the streets are not covered in the night call report. They were not even on the table. So it means somebody is tricking us. But each time he wants things round the way he wants, he looks for a sellable thing to the people to take to the streets, to put the pressure on the government, and so that some committees called, that uh, they later claim that, oh, you see, this is a negotiated report, and, show, and so it should now be passed the way it is. Mm. When you tell us that we should pass an article report the way it is because it is a negotiated document, and then it was a thing of two sides, Azimio and uh, Kenya Kwanza. But there are so many, there are other smaller coalitions. There's even one that will, be, will not be formed yet, yet these things will apply to them. Take, for example, before the last general election, we had a Jubilee and a NASA. But soon, uh, Kenya Kwanza was born. Uh, UDA was born, and it became the largest political party in Kenya. And if there was any law that was made before that, using negotiations between Jubilee and NASA, it would not be part of it. So we must treat all political formations equally. The fact that one look big today, what would happen if Kenya Kwanzaa and, 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 and Azimio came together in the next general election, when these so-called negotiated laws were made by them mm -hmm. and now they are one mm -hmm. what does that one leave their opponents so we must have a country where the rule of law is followed it doesn't matter what the grievances are we cannot have people that when they are outnumbered in the national assembly they go to the streets we go to some committee then the, whatever comes out of that committee is treated as a negotiated position and we take it to parliament and pass it without debate that should not happen and cannot happen. We must be a country where we have the rule of law. Okay, so in retrospect, you're of the opinion that it shouldn't be passed as is? No, it must be open to debate, even if we campaign. Okay, already Raelo Odinga is campaigning that we pass it as it is yeah. because it's a negotiated document. Yeah. I also agree with his campaign, but that campaign should only urge people that when you open it for debate, try not to amend anything, but if it is necessary to do so. <coughs> because for me, where is it? The Nadeco report has come out of a fraud. The fraud was, go to the streets. Why? Because the cost of living is high. Why again? Because there were stolen elections and the server should be opened so that we know who actually won. Mm. When we very clearly know that in the last general election, the presidential results were announced oh, right. from Form 34A and B, which were physically delivered to Bomas. They had nothing to do with the server. Yes. So we used fraud to have uh, the NADCO formed, that group formed, to debate, to agree on issues. So this thing is a fraud ab initio. So let us not, we must open it to debate. That is my position. Okay, well noted. As you come in, Bichachi, to talk to us about your observations around the